Because we are having issue right now, and I called the support staff, so the IT guys are working with me. Uh, I don't know how to fix this issue, so the IT guy, his name is Hamza. He's here. Hamza, what's up? What's up, what's up? How are you, Hamza? What are you fixing? Good, how are you? Nothing, man. <laughs> are you fixing something? But I think you're fixing something you're on a computer. Okay. Hamza, so what kind of call are you doing right now? Uh, basically, upgrading uh, somebody's notebook to Windows 10. Windows 10, you know. Um, so how did you start it? Like the, the person contacted you and then you are basically remoting in right now? Yes, I'm connected to their laptop remotely right now. What, what software are you using? Basically, mostly use GoToAssist. Okay. Or, I mean, if it's on personal level, you can also use TeamViewer. I like TeamViewer. That's pretty good also. Yeah, so basically you're doing like upgrades or... So you, you're totally upgrading the Windows 10. Yep. Have you had any issues so far? No, sometimes uh, some users try to do it themselves and they come up with their files are missing or something. Hmm. I've noticed like if you don't have all the latest updates installed and you just move to Windows 10, Mm -hmm. so you are having that issue like all of your files you don't transfer so in in that case what do you do you do you back up first yeah, just, just revert back to windows 7 do all the updates make sure everything is up to date and do the windows 10 install again okay but in terms of personal files do you do a backup on that or what no because they have actually most of them syncing with the sugar sync account oh okay so they already have something yeah, that's so synced. okay okay that's good. Um, so how many calls do you think you work on per week? I would say how many calls and do I mean, it, it depends. Uh, sometimes it's a busy week. You get, you know, five, six, seven calls. Some weeks you only get one or two calls. And, um, do you, you do this more like off hours, right? Yeah. Do you like your, this work? Like, is it, what would you say? Well, how would you read it? Uh, you're stressed. Like, okay. No. As as a person who is starting new, like you know, he loves IT and. I mean, it, it's extra money, but obviously, then you're busy in the evenings too. Sometimes you gotta work in the evenings too. You can't go out and you know. Oh, so it's it's a, that kind of stress. Yeah. So, yeah, it's. I mean, I guess this is normal in any IT job, but yeah. I guess once you have a good hold on things, I guess it's it's much easier than. True. True. Um, so um, do you in in terms of one to ten like what would you rate this job that you're doing right now is it hard like in terms of hard or is it hard to learn like for a new person who is getting into it right now and he's thinking i'm going to be supporting laptops and things like that working with users like that's easy like you know what you're doing it's already you know what you're supposed to do but sometimes you get issues okay they're having they kind of open on this one then you got to log in with them right away and see what's going on so if you don't know you might feel the pressure because they're watching what you're doing you know yeah that that's kind of hard part when a person watch you and you have yeah. to like have you ever been across the person like a person knows better than you in certain things like okay you know why yeah, is I mean, it happens because you know sometimes we get some problem with microsoft so okay so we call them and they're giving us support and then that guy's going there and there i'm like dude you don't even need to go there go here go here, go here. <laughs> and then uh, he does this the then he finally come back with that thing and does that yeah <laughs> so um how did you start it in IT basically? Like, do, do you, what do you consider yourself right now? Are you like really good in a technical uh, side? I, mean, I also consider myself a beginner level because I don't have too much exposure to, you know, too much problems yet. Okay, it's, so it's more like yeah. like desktop level yeah. um, and stuff like that. How many calls do you work on each day? Like how many calls do you get? With the, with the, you know, so you were, I think you work in a different area too, like as a support, right? Yeah, I work for, for main job is from a different company. For that, I mean, they basically have their own apps and stuff, you know, so for them, I know the specific things you got to do, like you don't, cannot access their this file or that file or their, forget their password or you need to, you know, reset their password or give them specific rights to specific folders. So it's more about application yeah. or there, uh, it's it, and kind of like the same. So you're working in one place, you're working support IT for application, mm -hmm. and the second place you're actually this right now is working as, as a support in, in which I would call more of an IT support, um, like help desk. Yeah. Uh, so you're doing that. Um, so overall per day, how many calls do you work on? Yeah, average, I would say average like, per day. How many calls do you guys work on? Yeah, I mean, me. Well, anywhere from, 
I have so much 20, 25 tickets. Wow, 25 tickets, guys! <laughs> you, you guys are listening to me? 25 tickets. Well, sometimes they're easy ones, you just gotta reset the passwords, it doesn't take that long. Yeah, and how many people do you have for that 25 tickets? Uh, no, for that, that's for me usually. Oh, so that's just for you? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> man. I'm just telling you how many tickets I get, that's my part. Wow, so that's that's a lot of tickets. I mean, sometimes you gotta okay, look up their exam. Look, you know, this technician or this person took an exam and you cannot look in his profile, then you gotta track the exam by the code. Okay, where did that exam go? What, what would you tell a person? This is the ending, so what would you tell a person who is starting uh, your type of job? Like, uh, what would you suggest them? I would say, like, if you're a person who cannot take a rest, start with the lower level, then you learn your thing and you don't have too much pressure. Then once you learn your stuff, then you know you can move up. Then what do you when you say lower level? What do you mean by that? I mean, basic like from the basic uh, help desk for like lower level. Don't be like a senior or you know. Average. Oh, like you know, just so okay. So don't don't put uh, stuff in your resume, so you will yeah. get like a like yeah, a little technical yeah. job. So that will just kill you because yeah. you wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean it's like you know you got. Yeah, yeah. I mean I actually personally experience uh, people like who yeah, have. And if you are young, if you can start with the internship, that will be the best option, you know. Yeah, like yeah, just, so start with an like, internship, yeah, just, get this just, stuff, just, get it done in the yeah, internship, just, and then you you can when you know things, you can you know just yeah, try in, for other things. Get in work for one or two months, and you have an, you will have an idea, you know how things work. Yeah. And then, then you can also evaluate yourself, your skills, you know where you at. There you go. All right, guys. So this is Hamza, and you, you probably see him on our site too sometime. Uh, you know, like I said, we're volunteers, so he's also part of volunteer. I know. Um, in i'm going to be you know interviewing him in the future for more uh support type of questions if you guys have any questions for him drop a comment down uh and uh, again i'm gonna let him do his work as you guys can see he's pretty happy um and uh doing his work he's gonna make a lot of money in the future <laughs> all right <laughs> see you guys all right bye